On this day, the Micronation of Byzantium Novum commemorates the last ever recorded vote of the Roman Senate, taken on January 27 in 1204 AD. This vote was to appoint a noble named Nicholas Canabos as emperor. The Senate vote was done during the turbulent time of the Fourth Crusade, just before the sack of Constantinople. The Emperor Isaac II Anagelos had died on January 25, and his son Alexios IV Angelos was extremely unpopular. The Senate and people sought a new emperor to oppose Alexios IV. After appealing to several unwilling candidates they appointed the young Nicholas Canabos, even though he too was also unwilling. In fact, Nicholas was so unwilling he sought sanctuary in chambers beneath the Hagia Sophia, in the hopes that he would have the protection of the church. Another aristocrat, Alexios V Dukas was willing to take on the emperorship and began to stage a palace coup. He offered Nicholas Canabos a prominent government position in return for his support. Nicholas, who wanted no part of government during this crisis, also refused this. As he had proven unusable by any faction Nicholas was taken from the Hagia Sophia and executed. The unfortunate Nicholas was reportedly a kind, generous and intelligent man. He had reigned, at least in name, for six days and nights. The vote to appoint Nicholas Canabos was the last vote of a Roman Senate ever recorded. It is unknown if this was their last gathering in history, or their final decision ever made. The record simply ceases after this point. No Senate meetings were recorded during the period of Crusader occupation in Constantinople. When Constantinople was finally retaken in 1261 AD the Senate as a functioning body is never mentioned again. It seems the position of Senator became simply an honorary title under the Paleologos dynasty. Fortune often favors the bold. Nicholas Canabos might possibly have survived if he had accepted the position of emperor. In retrospect he might as well have remembered the words of the Empress Theodora, that, purple makes the noblest shroud.